happening? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about prop firms. I'm going to explain to you the pros and cons and what you should actually do when taking these challenges. A bit of talk about risk management and all that good stuff. So obviously let's talk about the cons first. Obviously you have to pay for the challenge. You can fail the challenge which, which means you lose money. Depending on what prop firm you go to, you could lose up to you know, 1,000 plus pounds on the first challenge. Therefore, you need a cheap alternative. Next so, one would be the rule set in place. Now, obviously they want traders who can trade. They don't want you to just, you know, buy somehow one lucky trade gets you passed on these prop firms. So a con are each prop firm has different rules and they're in place to make you fail. Obviously they say it's to get you better at trading, to keep you structured. However, it's not, it's basically they're trying to catch you out. Therefore, you have to be a smart individual trader, use risk management, have a good psychology when trading and do not get emotional. We're gonna look at some pros now with these prop firms because obviously you can lose a lot of money. I've lost money failing challenges, but the pros, once you do pass, Say you pass a 200k account and you're going to the Forex funder for an $850, 200k account, right? It costs $850. You pass on that, 1% of 200k is $2,000. Therefore, if you make 5%, you're making 10,000. 10, Who makes 10,000 in one trade? Therefore, you get that withdrawal, you take it back, and you can use that money to buy more challenges if you lose your funded account. Now, that's a big plus size of these. When I was trading on my live account, when I first started trading, I was blowing my accounts, rushing to be rich. And it's that get rich quick. I believed in that when I started trading my live account. And that's what I did. I was using high leverage, over margin the account, big lot sizes and blowing the account. Therefore, I had to keep restarting with like every month putting a grand, putting a grand, putting a grand. Every single month, putting in a grand. Now, I kept losing, 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 and it didn't help me become a better trader. And I was never gonna flip a grand or $500 into 100,000. Therefore, the prop firm allowed me to not only help me, even though the rules were a bit of a con, it's got an analytics dashboard. It helps you keep structured because if you learn from your mistakes and try and be a very disciplined trader, you will trade a lot better because the, the you know the challenges are there to make you fail in terms of the rules. But if you can learn from those rules and adapt your trading plan to you know strategize and work around the challenges, then you can become a really successful trader. Now, when I got funded from a different firm, that big withdrawal helped me out a lot because it made up for all of the challenges lost, but also made me in profit so then I could spend a little bit of money. Now, obviously, those are the quick pros and cons of a prop firm. If you want to get funded, link is down below in the description. The Forex Funder, they're going to be popping on YouTube. A lot of big YouTubers taking the challenge already withdrawn, like plus 9,000. I'm on my phase two right now for the account, which obviously I uploaded the other video in the previous one. If you are new around here, like, subscribe, check out all the links in the description if you want to get into the, the free trades or anything like that. And I'll make more content on the prop firm stuff. But until next time, I'll catch you in a bit. Peace.